kind of a floating head, but I got stuff to show. Uh, finished the speaker wire run. Uh, this wire was the old, and I used that to pull through uh, one of the lines farther down. And as you can see from the background, I've got the amp mounted. I uh, brought all the lines up through a hole on the corner. I uh, just used um, some simple fishing tape. Uh, brought that around. Uh, the stereo is working. And the next step is I'm going to install these uh, speakers right over there. And uh, they're going to go up in this hole. So I've got a, I've got a template that came with it. We're going to mount this on the uh, the ceiling with tape. We're going to trace it, and then we're going to cut it out with a handsaw. And then we should be able to mount that speaker. These speakers are going to be zone C, B, zone B. Outside is zone A, B, and then I'm thinking, I'm thinking I'm going to reuse these old ones, and I'm going to put myself in a zone C, maybe like weather band. I don't know. We'll find out. So uh, I'll come back whenever the, the hole's done. No problems cutting the hole. Just use a template and I, I bought a, a hand saw. So uh, next step, I bought a 8 inch mica two way ceiling speakers. Uh, it's also got a, a tweeter that you can point. So I'm going to point it down to the guy sitting at the couch. Uh, real simple to install the speaker wires. You got a positive and a negative. You're just going to push and stick it in there. And then we're going to run it up into the ceiling. The way that this works is after you pop the cover off, you can adjust these screws and it's going to pop this down. And then you tighten that up against the ceiling. And so that's what we're getting ready to do. Floating head is back. So. It, it doesn't work. You can't uh, you can't put this speaker in there. It doesn't uh, it doesn't clamp down. So we did some. I did some mods. Uh, basically, I just added a screw. So this is the. Um, so this is actually what goes up against the ceiling on on a regular like you know whatever a size ceiling sheetrock it is or whatever you know half inch and it would fill this gap. Well, I added a screw to each one of those, drilled it, see that? And now what's gonna happen is whenever I uh, screw that in, this tip of this screw should press up against um, the real thin wood that's up in the ceiling. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try that and uh, hopefully it'll work. I think we're in business. Tightening up the last screw here, uh, you can hear it uh, swing around and then actually pierce the wood uh, so I know that it's gonna hold in there good and I mean we're not hanging from that so I think that'll work uh, adjust the tweeter and be pointing right here at player two okay over at the radio a little test run uh, it's just a radio station so uh, zone A is outside those are the uh, stock speakers that came with the trailer. We'll be replacing those soon. But it's on an amp. That's right there. Right, let's turn that down. Let's do uh, zone B if it worked. This should be the speaker we just installed. Oh, yeah. Got a high voice. Okay, well that song blows, but anyway, um, that one speaker's working, so that was right, uh, right channel, zone A. Now for the left, left zone channel, right, whatever. Okay, no issues on the uh, other speaker install. They are both up. They look good. They sound good. Uh, the next logical thing to do would be to clean up this pigsty of a wiring mess. So we're going to, um, God, why do I keep saying we? Is there somebody else in here? It's just me. Anyway, I am going to bundle all this up, uh, put the TV back, run the HDMI, 
and then we're gonna see how our movie theater video game uh, audio sounds so uh, that's the next logical step in this whole thing and I'm gonna start a new video for all that so stay tuned for the final install of the TV and 